I mean, were you, you, I mean, were you really in dire need? Don't you learn? I mean, I just don't understand. What you want, what you want, what you gonna do? When Sherry John Brown come for you. We had emergency traffic kick out at a local department store for a white male uh, seen with a brown shirt, bald head, with a tattoo on his neck concealing some clothing items and some fragrance. Upon my arrival, we had another officer go in and communicate with the security officers if we actually had a crime that occurred. They told me that uh, he was going to be exiting out a west exit where I was actually stationed at. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Put your hand, put your hand out. Get your hand out. We have shoplifting happen all the time here. It's, it's one of those common uh, crimes that occur. It's a sad thing that we see that these, these people that, especially this guy, we did some history on him. He's been in prison for a multiple slew of crimes that were out there. Just trying to get by on his hard luck and try to take some product that didn't belong to him. Why were you doing that inside there? Um, recreation. Recreation? A little bit. Yeah. You, you've been arrested before though, right? 2009. 2009, what'd you get arrested for? For assault. Did you do any time? Three years. So what are you trying to do now? Just maintain a stable life, take care of my kids. Yeah. How many kids do you have? Two. I'm not surprised that mom was emotional. Um, anytime somebody sees their child get arrested and placed inside the back of a police car, it's an emotional thing. You can kind of tell from the mom's experience that she's been through a lot and she's kind of tired and at that uh, end of the rope with having calls and, and situations with her son like that coming up. He wanted something that bad? Yeah, he tried I mean, to I run out and that's, him. you know, he tried I mean, to run out. He gets out. a check every month. If he needs it that bad, I mean, you know, buy it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just don't understand no. this. The logic, I mean, I just, the mentality for this, to do this with me. Was it worth it? I mean, you know better. Sorry. You know, sorry are just words, son. I mean, you're how old? And when we did a records check on him, his scan came back. He's been arrested for armed robbery, burglary, theft, um, aggravated assault. He actually did three years in prison uh, down in one of our south prisons. Uh, he actually just got out, and in talking with him, he had his parole number that he actually just uh, was able to expire last May. So it's kind of sad when you see that they've gone through the system, uh, they've made it through to where the number that they were assigned is what they call killed, and then to go right back out and commit another crime.